pocket if there's nothing there. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Sir, you're not allowed to be in here. You can't be in here. The Verdict, a 1982 film directed by Sidney Lumet, tells a pretty familiar story. I'm her attorney. It's about a loser who gets a chance to redeem himself, a little guy fighting against a powerful institution. The loser in this case is a broken down Boston lawyer named Frank Galvin, and he's played in a great performance by Paul Newman. Frank gets involved in a malpractice suit that pits him against the city's medical, legal, political, and religious establishment. It's, it's not a good case. It's a very good case. A young, healthy woman goes into a hospital to deliver her third child, and, well, it's just beyond comprehension. She's given the wrong anesthetic. Now, this courtroom drama goes more or less where you'd expect it to go. All right. But the screenwriter on this picture was David Mamet, and he really infused this fairly standard story with his own perverse, cynical sensibility. I said to you, know what you did? No, did? Yes, yes, take it easy okay. now. It's okay. You ruined my life, mister. Being my wife. And now I'm gonna ruin yours. You don't have to go out there to see that girl. We've been going for four years now. See, four years, my wife has been crying herself to sleep. In the more conventional Hollywood treatment of this material, the emphasis would be on how justice can be done and how one person can stand up and make a difference. But even though that's literally at the level of plot, what happens in the verdict, this is a movie that leaves you with a strong, sour aftertaste, a sense of frustration and corruption and bitterness. It doesn't feel like a movie that has a happy ending. Your Honor, we've agreed to hold for the plaintiff, Deborah and Kay, and against St. Catherine Labore, Doctors Towler and Marx. The verdict leaves you with the sense that justice can prevail, but when it does, it's too little, too late, and it can't compensate for the harm that's already been done. <laughs>